Hi everyone and welcome back to my channel. My name is Jessica and today I wanted to do a tour of my handbag collection. So I have a pretty small collection of handbags that I've been growing steadily over the past couple of years. I've tried to be really thoughtful with my handbag purchasing um, and finding pieces that I know will work with a lot of things in my closet that I can get a lot of use out of. I have some more investment pieces by my standards anyways and then I have some kind of less expensive alternatives so I'm going to share all of the pieces with you today and talk a little bit about each brand and thank you to the person that requested this video I love the idea and I love watching videos like this so I hope you guys will too so let's get right into it so the first two bags are from JWP, which is a really small brand um, that does vegan leather handbags and they have really cute designs. I've actually done a separate video reviewing both of these bags, so I won't go too much into detail on these, but just to give you an idea of what they are. So the first one is the Fiona bag. It is a crossbody handbag um, with a kind of accordion style to it. The inside lining is actually made from recycled plastic, which is really cool. I bought this in, I think, 2018, and it was one of the first purchases that I made towards my capsule wardrobe, so I wanted something that was like nice quality and that would go with a lot of different things and would last me for a while. And that has definitely been the case for this bag. I've used it a ton and it's held up really well. The vegan leather is really high quality and durable. It doesn't show scratches, it doesn't rip or tear and things like that. So it's held up really nicely and it basically looks brand new. Like from the time that I bought it, there's literally no wear at all on the leather material, which is nice. Um, the strap is still in good shape, it is adjustable, and it has like some small gold hardware details. The inside, it actually holds a lot, surprisingly. So it has two main sections, it has a little zip pocket here and a card holder on this side. I use this a lot while traveling because it holds a lot, it holds my camera in it which is really important. And I've also used it a lot for work because it has a really kind of sleek minimal design to it. So when I bought this I paid around $100 for it I believe and that was a few years ago and the brand has really taken off and gained popularity since then. So now these retail for around $250 on their website but they are currently on sale for $169. They actually don't sell the black anymore. I have a feeling that they're selling them to kind of like sell out of this and not keep making this style anymore. So they have a few more styles in several different colors. They have like a white one, a pink one, blue I think. Um, but they don't have like the basic black or tan color. But if you really like the style of this, I will link everything below in the description so you can take a look at that. But yeah, all in all it's a great handbag and I do love the other colors they do. It's just for my wardrobe, I think a neutral like black color like this really works the best. I'm so glad that I got it when I did because at the time I really didn't have like an everyday smaller black handbag like this and so this really filled a gap in my wardrobe and made my wardrobe a lot more wearable and more practical for my everyday life. And when I wear this now, I often kind of like to style it so that it has like a shorter handle. I kind of wish that it had a shorter handle so sometimes I'll just like tuck it over and carry it like this if I don't feel like wearing it over my body. And if you like the style of this but you really want like a black or a neutral color, they actually have a really similar style too that does have the short handle. So I'll link that below. It's really cute and if I were in the market to get another handbag from JWP, I would definitely be looking at that one. The next one is also from JWP. This is the bucket bag. So this style has sold out now and it's really a shame because it's such a great bag. But I have a really similar one that I found from a brand called Azarina, which is in a similar price range, so I'll link that one in the description box. JWP did these bags and I just fell in love instantly. I pretty much had to have it because it was like a more affordable dupe of the Mansur Gabriel bag that I love. Um, so that's kind of what I got this one for because it was more affordable at the time and it was also vegan leather. And because I had such a great experience with my other JWP, JW pay bag, I thought this would be a worthy investment, and I was right. I got even more use out of this bag than the other one actually, because it is a slightly larger size as you can tell, and it's just one big bag, so you can kind of throw everything in there. I got this one in early 2019, and at the time I believe I spent around $100 for it. I think I got it on sale, so I'm not sure what the usual price was, but it was around that same price range 
and because I've used it so much this one does have a little bit more wear than my Fiona bag which is surprising because I've used both of them a lot but I think just because of the style of this bag it was more likely to be worn in certain areas so again it's vegan leather and the outside is completely pristine like I said earlier it's like kind of scratch proof it doesn't show any marks it doesn't tear and there's no wear on the handle which is really nice and which happens a lot with like my real leather bags so it is a really really durable bag which makes it great for every day the thing that did wear is the lining here so the lining has actually started to kind of detach from the handbag and I think honestly that's just because I am not precious with my bags I use them you know kind of like throw them around throw things in them so I'm not super careful about them but yeah that could also just be a kind of defect of the design it doesn't really affect the function of the bag at all and it still does carry a lot so I love using this when I'm traveling too again because it just holds so much it's convenient because it's a crossbody bag so you can be hands-free when you're traveling around and it also just looks really chic and put together in my opinion so it's a great one to wear in the winter like when you have really heavy dark layers on you can just throw this on top and it's kind of like a nice warm pop of color it also has gold detail like gold hardware which I really like and the strap closing is fairly secure like it's pretty closed just on its own but it is also adjustable too but usually I just leave that how it is and I think from watching this video you guys will start to realize how much I love bucket bags I'm a huge fan of them I think it's kind of my ideal bag style um, just because it's kind of like unique and quirky but still really like minimal and sleek and just really interesting to me so I have a few bucket bags in my collection but this is the one that started it off the next bag is actually gifted to me for Christmas and I get a lot of use out of it so this is a really simple black messenger bag from Kate Spade and it has this cute little tassel pull on it for the zipper it has silver hardware um, the leather on the tassel is silver too and I love this one because of the shape it's really small sleek and minimal but also really practical it feels really secure because you can zip it up easily and it actually holds quite a bit too like I can throw my phone wallet and a few other things in there too even my uh, little vlogging camera when I'm traveling and stuff with something like the JW Payfiona bag the style of the bag is a bit more noticeable so it becomes more a kind of more obvious part of your outfit whereas this one is so simple and minimal detail to it that it just fits so seamlessly into any outfit it's not like a huge oversized bag so it's nice to have that when you don't need to carry too much stuff or you just want something really lightweight to go with you. So I really like this bag for that reason. Um, and then again, it is like a crossbody bag, so really useful for when you're like walking around a lot, want to be hands-free. And if you're looking for one in a similar shape from a sustainable brand, I believe that Nisolo does um, some similar ones as well as Kuyana. So I'll link a few in the description box below. Next up is a handbag that I've had for quite a while and it's this cute little clutch from Mango. As you know, Mango is a fast fashion brand and so it's not real leather. It was really inexpensive. I think it was around $50 which honestly is kind of expensive for, for this but I do love the shape of it and because of the size I don't really have anything else like it in my collection so I've held on to it I've got a lot of use out of it over the years I especially like it for like evening activities or things where I just want something really small to wear and it does surprisingly hold quite a bit so it has this one big um, section in the middle and it actually comes with a crossbody strap too but because I have so many crossbody bags in my collection I usually just like to wear this as a little you know around the wrist bag and it has gold hardware on it and the reason that I bought this is because I really love this single strap in the middle I think it's a really interesting unique style to it and later on I did get something with a similar kind of single strap to it which I'll show you in a minute but because it's this smaller size it just has a special place in my heart I actually brought this with me on a trip to Santa Barbara too and it was really fun so it is tested out for traveling and it does surprisingly hold a lot it holds like my phone 
wallet and my camera, which is usually a good test for me to know that something is useful for traveling. When I was traveling with it, I did actually use the strap to make it into a kind of crossbody bag, but because it's removable, this works really well for like day to night style outfits, so at night I would just carry it on its own. So for now, this is definitely a favorite of mine, especially as like an evening bag. It's really one of the only small clutch style evening bags that I own. So for that reason, it is a very important part of my handbag collection. Next is maybe one of my most favorite bags in my collection, and that is the Staud Bisset bag. This is a really beautiful like cognac brown color. Uh, or like a chestnut brown color and I just love this for you know any time of the year you could say that this brown leather is most suitable for like an autumn winter kind of wardrobe color palette but I actually use this in the spring and summer too and despite the fact that it's like a really unique shape which is one of the reasons why I love this handbag in the first place it is surprisingly wearable um, I usually just use it as like a little handheld bag like this, but it does come with a strap too so you could wear it crossbody, but I do think because of how like sturdy the kind of shape is of it, it really works best as like more of a handheld bag. And it is really spacious as you can see. It has this like leather closure to it, it's like a brown suede closure. Um, with a drawstring that you can pull closed, but really it doesn't actually close the bag very much, so it's just like wide open, um, which is a good thing to know if you're kind of concerned about like the security of this bag. What I've done in the past is actually put my things into a smaller dust bag and throw them in there because then it kind of helps to organize my bag. I had been looking at getting this bag for quite a while, for around a year and a half maybe, um, and it currently retails for $3.50. I got this on sale from MoMA gift shop, thanks MoMA, for $1.75, so it's such a great price. I just couldn't pass it up and I was so surprised to find it there, but you know, it's all online shopping, so it doesn't really make a difference. But I am so happy with this handbag. You, if you watch my other videos, you know that I use this a lot in my styling videos because it just kind of completes a look to me. It really like elevates the look if it's more casual and just adds that extra touch of something that makes it feel really special. So that is definitely how I feel every time I use this handbag. I do feel like it's a really special piece in my collection and I just want to use it for a really long time. <laughs> Next is a similar handbag in that it's another bucket bag. Like I mentioned earlier, I do love a bucket bag. It's probably my favorite style of a handbag. This one is the trademark bucket bag, which I picked up last spring or fall. I can't remember exactly when, but it was last year at some point. And it's so sad because I don't even think Trademark exists as a brand anymore. They don't sell these online. So the ones that you can find online are going to be, you know, secondhand. So from what I could find secondhand online, these go for about $550 now. You know, that's through like eBay, but you do have to be careful and make sure that you're buying from like a reputable seller. So like Vestia Collective or The Real Real are really great for that if you're looking for a lightly used handbag, designer handbag, that can be verified for its authenticity. I don't know when Trademark ended as a brand, but I just thought they had some really amazing like shoes and handbags and I just loved everything that they did, which is why I wanted to add this bag to my collection, even though it is really similar in style to this dog bag. The other reason that I fell in love with this bag is because you can actually wear it in two different ways. So you can wear it this way as your kind of basic bucket bag and you can also modify the strap with this little clip here and then wear it like this so that it actually closes. So I really love using this either way. For some reason when I wear it like this, it feels more like a kind of evening bag, whereas if I wear it open, it feels like more of an everyday bag. I don't know why. But this one, it's really nice quality leather, um, but again, it is just like your basic like big open pot kind of thing. It kind of looks like a plant pot or something. So with this, I do like to put my things into a duster bag and throw them in there, and then I'll put like larger stuff in there on its own. So they have two sizes of these. I believe this one is the mini bucket bag, and the larger one is about, you know, maybe twice its size. Um, so you can kind of wear it like over your shoulder. I'm not someone who likes to carry around a really, really big handbag day to day. So for me, this is a really good size. 
It comes in a lot of different like colors and styles. So they have like a croc embossed kind of leather and then they have like the smooth leather and they do some really fun colors to like a seafoam green. So if you love this handbag as much as I do and you're looking to add one to your collection, I suggest like setting Google search alerts so that you can find your own too. Next up is a bit of a more summery piece in my handbag collection and that is this round a woven basket from Soko Designs, which is a small brand that does a lot of woven basket bags like this. I absolutely love this one, and when I got it, I wore it a ton. I found this on Etsy after seeing a similar one that Lena Farrell had, um, who's a really cool Parisian Instagrammer. Um, so I went in the search of my own and I found this one on Etsy through Soko Design. They used to be called Woven Finds, so it has that name on the little label here. And I wore this a ton and they actually named it the San Diego bag, which is really cool. You know, I think a woven bag is such a like summer wardrobe staple in my mind, but because it's this like round shape, I just feel like it has a really unique style to it. It's also really, really big. So it holds quite a bit. These are great for like if you're going to the beach or going out for dinner or something in the summer. And I also wear it into the fall and winter too. So in my latest video, you'll see that I styled this bag with an autumn outfit um, for kind of a more like Parisian style. This bag currently retails for $35. And I will link it in the description box if you're looking for something similar. They have a lot of kind of unique styles of woven bags too and similar styles to this. I think they also have a larger version of this too that could be used more as like a beach bag. Um, yeah, but I just really love this one. I think it's so adorable. After I bought that last bag, I really loved it and I wanted to add another straw bag. Uh, to my collection and Soko Design very kindly gifted me this one. This is a like market style bag. It's called the Istanbul and it has this long brown leather strap to it that makes it really easy to wear out, you know, for long periods of time and it holds a ton. So as you can see, it's just huge. So this is good if you're going like grocery shopping or going to a market or going to the beach, bringing a picnic with you. Whatever you're doing, um, this is the kind of handbag that I just love to use throughout the summer and like chuck everything in there. And I just think there's something so chic about having like a giant straw bag with like a big flowy billowy dress or even just with jeans and a t-shirt. I feel like this adds like an element of texture to your outfit and it's kind of more like unexpected accessory to pair with an everyday outfit. So I really like it for that reason. And last but not least, I wanted to include a really special bag that has more of a sentimental value for me, and that is this vintage bag from Bali. It's really sleek, refined, sophisticated, and this actually belonged to my grandmother, so it's really special to me, and it's just held up so well. Like, the leather is in like pristine condition, there's no scratches on it. And yeah, I'm hoping that later on down the line when I need to be a little bit more dressed up than I am now, that I'll be able to get a lot of use out of this handbag because it is absolutely gorgeous. So if you watched one of my vlogs from Georgia, I talked you through this bag when I found it in my mom's closet and she very kindly gave it to me. And I unfortunately don't know what this retails for. Um, if you were to buy it vintage because I couldn't find the exact design, but I do know that Bali did a really popular bag called the Kelly bag, which is pretty similar, so you can find those um, on sale online, vintage, if you're interested. This one has a zipper that kind of goes like all the way around the outside of the bag. And here's the inside with that classic Bali logo for the lining. It has a little like zipper, zipper pouch there. It holds a lot. This could hold like an iPad and a planner and it's a really good like work bag as you can tell because it's really really sleek looking and I just love it. Like my lifestyle right now doesn't really call for something this fancy for me to use every day but I know at some point in time I will be getting a lot of use out of this. And I thought I would mention one handbag that I kind of have on my wish list or on my radar that I would eventually like to add to my collection. So a while back I had a really big black handbag that was just like a kind of carry-all bag. I had it for years and years. I used it a lot um, for like maybe eight-ish years and it was my travel bag, but unfortunately the 
leather handle kind of deteriorated. So I still have the need for like a larger carry-all bag, especially for when I'm traveling, to bring as a carry-on on the plane with me. It's something that I found really useful when I had it, and now that I don't, I'm looking to kind of fill that gap with something. So I found a few sustainable brands that make some really lovely um, leather goods. So one of them is Nisolo and the other one is Kriana. And they have these really lovely large carry-all bags. So if I am going to invest in one of those later on down the line, maybe like next year or something, or for my winter capsule wardrobe, then I would love to get one from one of those brands. So I'll link those below. And I would love to know if you guys know of any other um, sustainable brands that make really lovely leather products, especially a handbag in that style. So let me know in the comments. And that is all for this video. So I really hope you liked it. If you have a favorite handbag from my collection, I would love to hear what it is. You can give this video a thumbs up if you like it and subscribe for more. And I will see you in the next one.